The first iPhone came out on June 29th, 2007. And in that 15 years, a lot has changed. Or has it? Today we are testing the iPhone 14 Pro versus none other than the iPhone 7. First look at the iPhone 7, probably in since it came out, since 2016, or probably since the iPhone 8, we did a comparison. Oh my gosh, it is so much different looking. You say, Niles, why the iPhone 7? And it's because it's the only phone I could find lying around my house. It's pink because it was my mother-in-law's. Thanks. Thanks, mother-in-law. And obviously, yes, you would think the iPhone 14 Pro is gonna look much better than the iPhone 7. That's like seven generations of phones. I think that's seven generations of phones. So you would assume the 14 is better because if it wasn't, well, Apple probably wouldn't be a thriving company as much as they are. Yo, honestly, the iPhone 7's like kind of a vibe. Also, check out, it's literally plugged in because it dies so quick that I'm right now, I'm just leaving it plugged in. It's just gonna stay plugged in because the battery is so bad I, it's just, you know, shout out to old phones and bad batteries. Oh, no. It freaking died. Okay, let's quickly run through some camera specs. In 2016, iPhone 7, they launched the phone. They're launching with a 12 megapixel camera, 4K 30, so no 24 option. You get 720, 240 slow-mo. The front camera's seven megapixels. Honestly, pretty garbage, I think. People still complaining about the front camera, you are especially complaining in 2016. Also, Sorry by Justin Bieber was popular, Panda by Designer, and Hello by Adele. Those were the big songs. Gosh, what a what a time to be alive, 2016. I was younger than I am now. Okay, enough talking, let's go see some test footage. Okay, really quick before we continue on with this video, I do need to tell you guys that right now the Moment Holiday Sale is going on at shopmoment.com. A ton of gear is on sale. Lights, mics, lenses for your phone, new snap-on filters. We just have an arsenal of gear that can bring your phone filmmaking and photography to the next level. So whether you have the new 14 Pro or you have an iPhone 7, there is something for you. These sales don't happen all the time, so head on over if you're interested in buying some gear for yourself, because that's normally what I do on the holidays, or buying some gifts for another. If you have a mobile filmmaking or photo enthusiast in your family, shopmoment.com is the place for you. Okay. Just had to get the quick plug in there. Now let's go. Uh, let's go start shooting. All right. So a little bit of a janky rig, but uh, we got we got this little thing on the iPhone 7, the M Force adapter. So that's pretty cool. It'll do. All right. Here's the iPhone 7. Here's the iPhone 14 Pro. All right, so before we move on to the photo portion of this shootout, it is important that we thank today's sponsor, Storyblocks. Storyblocks is an awesome platform, not just for awesome 4K royalty-free stock footage, but also for motion graphics. I don't always have time to shoot everything for my videos, and I'm definitely not an After Effects wizard who can whip up an awesome title. Cue my need for Storyblocks and a bunch of resources that I can pull from to finish all my projects. Tesla footage, yes. Girl using iPhone, 
easy. Animals in the Sahara, because it's obviously way too expensive to fly there for one shot. Check. The clear cut licensing just makes life super easy and they even have a built in editor called Maker where you can edit footage directly on their platform. Or if you're already in Premiere, they have a plugin which also makes life super easy. So head on down to the link below to check out their various licensing options. Thank you again to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Sweet, all right. All right, we are at the pier. Kind of noisy because the ocean. And now we're gonna shoot down here. Try to focus on uh, more photos, like I said. everybody so that is the iPhone 7 versus the iPhone 14 Pro and I have to say I am most impressed with the iPhone 7 obviously the 14 Pro has a bunch of software features that the 7 doesn't night mode cinematic mode software wise the 14 Pro blows the 7 out of the water but in terms of just the look which I know is such an ambiguous photographer filmmaker thing to say but the look of the 7, I prefer. The 14 Pro just looks a little over sharp and oversaturated. Yes, there's more dynamic range, but when I was shooting at the pier is when I noticed this the most. Like the 14 Pro is overcompensating sharpness while the 7 just kind of lives in this world of it cannot, doesn't need to be super sharp. It can look a little more natural. What's crazy about this whole video, which I'm having like an existential crisis about how old I feel, is that how the iPhone 7 feels nostalgic. It feels like the generation prior's version of a camcorder or a handy cam or even the generation for that VHS like when I go look back at footage of me as a child it's VHS and then it's like a digital camcorder when our kids go look back they're gonna see these iPhones and it's gonna look bad to them but bad is here is actually a good thing because it looks old and it looks real and it has a look to it that I think people in the future are gonna try to replicate so if I, I'm gonna hold on to this phone. Like I think the iPhone 7, yes, it has some jello. Yes, the dynamic range isn't good, but it's kind of a vibe. And in five years, six years, seven years, it might actually be the tool that people are trying to replicate. Like how nowadays we are replicating eight millimeter film, 16 millimeter film. We're replicating VHS. There's all these packages. I wonder if in the future there's gonna be iPhone 7 pack, iPhone 4 pack, because there's a look and I actually think it's kind of cool. So that wraps up this video. Totally get, if you don't agree with me, you can roast me in the comments, say, Niles, you're a dummy. The iPhone 14 looks way better. Cool, that's awesome, good for you. I, 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 I appreciate the engagement and helping me with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks. No, but for real, let me know in the comments what you think if you think the iPhone 7 is still a phone worth getting. Software-wise, again, doesn't cut it. Image quality-wise, not that bad. Okay, stop rambling, Niles. This conclusion is too long too much of your time being wasted. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace. Woo. I'm not actually done, I'm gonna finish the edit. Kind of a lot of the editing to do. All right, see you guys.